My six weeks in Panama was like a roller coaster and packed full of valuable learning experiences. Things went wrong, things went right. I went in a man who hadn't left his home country in 20 years, traveling solo in a foreign country for a month and a half, and learning a lot about myself, and coming out the other side all the better for it. And now, I'm wanting more of all of that. Having been a photographer in another life, I also had for the better part of my life an unsatiated desire to do filmmaking. This six weeks was the perfect vehicle to finally make that happen and document this journey in the form of a YouTube channel. And what better place to learn about filmmaking practices and techniques than on YouTube? Not only about filmmaking, but also learning from some of the best how to make the most of a YouTube channel. Like they say, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I went into it realizing that like most things, this would take time to learn and gradually getting better at it. The first step was buying equipment and watching a lot of videos on related subjects. I bought a GoPro Hero 10 for my main camera and amassed quite an arsenal of accessories, including lights, grips, extra batteries and SD cards, charging devices, and even an underwater case. I also bought an Insta360 One X2 camera and accessories for that camera. I also bought an Atlee time-lapse camera. And as the trip grew closer, I scaled down the gear again and again and again. I decided to leave the time-lapse camera at home and you know what this trip taught me? I could have left even more at home. I finally came to the conclusion that I can get by traveling with what I can fit in a backpack. Clothes and all. From then on, it was about getting my proverbial feet wet. Trying to get comfortable speaking on the fly while recording. But shooting on location can bring unexpected problems, such as music coming from a car stereo or a party bus in one case. Can't be getting those copyright strikes. Or sometimes the wind can render the audio track likewise useless. Hence my often using subtitles or voiceover. One of the most valuable things Panama reminded me of was how self-reliant I can be when I have no one else to rely on. I learned that when need be, I can push myself way out of my comfort zone and make things happen I didn't know were possible. I learned that when things go wrong and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, not to dwell on the issue and just remember there's usually a workaround. About two weeks before departure, my laptop died. My best friend gave me a loaner to use. Unfortunately, there was a codec needed to open the high definition video files to view or edit them that was not on her laptop. A codec is a computer program that encodes or decodes on a data stream. In this case, video files. And without this 99 cent computer program, I wasn't able to review, let alone edit, the video files I had been dumping onto that laptop and later my portable hard drive. And apparently some of those video files didn't even get transferred for some reason onto the laptop, resulting in the infamous lost footage 
I have so often mentioned in my videos. But you know what? That didn't stop me from producing content. Another example of technology gone wrong was that I learned that the GoPro sometimes names files out of sequence. Why, I don't know. That has caused problems during editing, but I've gotten used to it. Being aware of this anomaly made me cautious, and I've developed a habit of reviewing clips before committing them to the timeline. Having to start over after being 10 minutes deep or more into a project can have that result. All in all, although there were errors not caught until after videos were published to YouTube, I have to call this so-called Panama edition, this inaugural chapter of the Eddie on the Go YouTube channel, a success. Not because it was anywhere near perfect, because it was not, but because part of the journey is the learning process. I've learned so much, and there is so much more to learn. And I fully expect to keep on learning until I draw my final breath. And hopefully you are enjoying being part of my journey enough to come along for the ride, subscribing and liking along the way. In the meantime, the journey continues. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel to learn where the next chapter takes Eddie on the go this fall. Until then, vejo voice na próxima vez.